EDC3DBiz.com, uh, giving you a quick demonstration how we're making these batteries. Um, I have my mix right here. Um, it's a nice powdery nano type mix. And uh, basically, like I explained in my previous video, it's a mix of uh, calcium chloride, uh, sodium alginate, and Epsom salts. And basically what we're going to be doing is um, adding Elmer's glue later on because it's a very um, delicate procedure here. And basically it'll end up looking like this. And I get about 1.6, 1.5 volts. So let's go ahead and uh, wrap that up, put it together. I got my a piece of fiber paper right here, cellulose. The more fiber the better. You need to lay that down right here. And I've also cut some copper wire, speaker wire, made into a Y shape. So I don't have to go through a messy soldering. And I put this at the end of the uh, copper pipe. Because uh, in my previous videos, as I explained, basically what I've done is I've uh, put a hole in the end right here. So that the uh, wire can go in here like this. And then I uh, connect the leads like this, tighten it up. I usually use a pair of pliers, but I can't find them right now. So. Anyway, this is uh, make a nice, strong connection right here like this. And that's basically for the uh, exterior. Next, get Elmer's glue. Pour the Elmer's glue over the top like this. We've got a nice, decent layer. And this is the uh, sodium alginate mix. Now put it on both sides of the copper pipe. We're going to put it on the inside and also the outside. So what we're going to do is put a little bit on the paper right here. Sprinkle it out like this. And just roll it in here like this. So it's nice and uniform. And it makes a nice simple paste. By the way, this is totally non-toxic. I think I think most of it is. Not, almost glow is non-toxic. The Epsom salts, if you eat too much of that, that's not good. But some people take Epsom salts for arthritis. And the sodium algodate is used in cooking. And the calcium chloride is also used in cooking. I don't know if that's totally non-toxic, but I don't know some of the stuff you can basically eat. Anyway, this is the um, exterior copper pipe now. As you can see, it's been coated with the uh, mixture. And we now take our fiber. And we just roll it up like this. You guys can see that there, but roll it up. It also sometimes helps to put um, a little bit of glue along here. It does help it stick a little bit better. And remember, the Elmer's glue itself is a battery. It has a conductive charge. So um, basically, we give this a nice roll like this until she's rolled up. And then it looks like this. A little bit of glue on here, make sure she's nice and tight. Now it's very important that we put another layer on the outside right here. So to do that, coat this in Elmer's glue. Make sure the Elmer's glue goes all the way around, like this. Okay, and then once again we do a second coating right here, like this. Gonna make sure it's nice and uh, even all around. All right, and this is both sides coated. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and see what voltage we get. All right now we're on the two volt scale. Out here I have a small piece of magnesium strip, because we're going to put magnesium around here later on. And then I have the other end of the lead right here, connected up here. So you guys can see the voltage right here. And I'll put the piece of magnesium uh, touching the fiber. And you guys can see that. 1.6 volts almost.
I'll bring it up to the 20 volt scale because we're having a lot of voltage here. 1.7, 1.57. So she's holding steady, 1.57. That's a constant steady voltage. Now remember, all this is, this is just a piece of copper pipe. It's completely hollow. There's nothing in here. It's totally hollow. See, both ends. 100% hollow. See? All we have is the right materials, put them together in the right um, quantities, and we get voltage. Anyway, after this is fully dried out, I'm going to put a coil, the magnesium ribbon, around the top of this, like this. So the magnesium ribbon will be coiled around here. And then once that is done, for a final protective seal, because the corrosion, these things, batteries, last so long, we have to have good, strong corrosion. So um, once the magnesium ribbon is being put on, we then coat it with a coat of sodium silicate, and that's it. It's finished. The job is completed. So something of this size, completely hollow, is yielding one point, almost 1.60 volts. And um, that's pretty good. So um, that's uh, my best progress so far. Very simple. And most of these substances are non-toxic. So I think, um, you know, even you could probably, I wouldn't recommend eating it, but uh, it's pretty good to have a battery with this power, with this um, much non-toxicity. Anyways, easy 3D biz. Thank you for watching. Wish you all a great day and good luck in your zero-point energy research.